Oh wow, it's a sailboat. <laughs> you dumb kid. It's not a sailboat, it's a schooner. A sailboat is a schooner, stupid head. All right, what is up my friends? Welcome to another video here on Cool Stuff Inc. Com. I have an absolutely, unbelievably awesome standard deck for you. Uh, Ash Lizzle played this deck on her stream to like a literal 25 and 0 record. Like no hyperbole, no exaggeration, like 25 and 0, which is ins absolutely insane. And I uh, saw it, even if it didn't go 25 and 0, I still would have played it because it looked really, really cool. But the record is also uh, pretty indicative of cool things as well. Looks like nothing in standard uh, we've seen in a long time. A blue-green artifact aggro deck with a lot, a ton of cards from Lost Caverns of Ixalan. Uh, we got Subterranean Schooner here, which is a phenomenal new vehicle. 3-4 atta attacks and crews, uh, and then to Explorers was great. We got Sentinel of Nemo City, an awesome well-sized creature. Makes maps everywhere. And uh, Spyglass Sire makes a map, of course. Also, Zoetic Glyph being the main new card, uh, kind of like capitalizing all these artifacts. And so Artifact with Upside when it dies, which is great. And uh, kind of all comes together where there's a lot of really good cards in the deck. And a lot of them just happen to make Artifacts. You know, Sentinel, uh, Schooner, and so on and so forth. So, cards like Teething Wormlet end up being really, really powerful. Uh, Protocol becomes almost just Counterspell, which is great. A little bit of Explorer action also with the Conductor. Conductor. Mirrix is great. There's a bunch of cool things happening here, honestly. And then Vine Stock's also very good. Hasn't at home yet. Good against uh, Sunfall, which is very nice as well. And uh, just a cool deck. Good to play a tempo game. A uh, bunch of cheap threats, so a couple counter spells, and then uh, to kind of do your thing. So, Cyber is more interaction here. Uh, Tide Binder is a pretty cool new card as well. Royal Treatment against kill spells. Haywire might spell pierce. Kind of get the idea. Nothing too crazy here. But, deck's really cool. I'm pumped to give it a spin. But first, we work for our sponsor at CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuffInc.com is a proud sponsor of Jim Davis, and you can show your support while getting 5% off your entire order by using the promo code JIM5 at checkout. Need singles for constructed or kitchen table play? Looking to pick up sealed product or the latest in magic accessories? We've got you covered. CoolStuffInc.com is the place for all your Magic the Gathering needs, and remember to use the code JIM5 at checkout for 5% off. CoolStuffInc.com, cool stuff in stock. Oh boy, that's a stinker. All right, so we're going to mulligan our six lander. Uh, RJ Mirix's, but on the draw, we're going to mulligan down to uh, to six. Mulligan into Brute Brute Protocol, Cookie Cookie Cookie. It's like a draft hand, right? Um, I guess we're going to keep this. It's kind of sketchy, honestly. We have like the no, two, no, double, no double blue for protocol and like none of our real good payoff cards, but we're going to keep this. Dump a Brute and uh, not be thrilled about it, but we got a mountain. All right, well, we got a lot of food at least, so... Epicure. I mean, another freaking cookie? So many cookies. And, uh, did you brew? Maybe just tack, honestly. I think I would trade here. Sure, it's fun. Just trade, kill it. No chip shot damage. Probably playing Anvil. I don't know. Maybe a Monorite, actually. Goblin Tomb Raider, come on down. And then they're gonna demolition. Ooh, wow, they're, they're, they're coming in. Love it. Alright, Sentinel's a great draw. Uh, as long as we can draw a lamp or this, a 3-4 is a pretty awesome uh, body on this board. Having the food is great, too. Hooking and block. Sysphere. Sysphere and Shock here were probably dead. Torch Tower, yep. So, not ideal. They have one card left. Pretty good draw for them on the play into our mulligan. Draw a land, please. Cannot draw a land. Alright, so we can play Uki or play the 2-3. Either one is pretty rough. I guess the two that can block the reader. All right, yeah. It's got some pain, but yeah, it's fine. I think we're dead here, obviously, because we just... Not a very good draw. <laughs> um, you know, missing a land drop here on the draw against their really, really good uh, draw on the play. I've hit most of their spots here. Oh, my God. I've hit all their spots. All right. Uh, I think we're dead. Listen, sometimes you... Uh, Mulligan into a two lander against Mono Red, which is what happens. Uh, four damage then on board. Yep. All right. So good game two. No problem. It happens. And uh, shake it off. Look at the board. And then for Mono Red, um, not really a ton here. It's fine. Like Haywire might actually just fine. Just like trades, gain some life. Um, probably have like a Kamano bases Kakazan on their deck. They showed some artifacts also. I would say like the Soul Cauldrons can just go for sure. And we can put in the, the mites. 
I want a couple treatments, I think. They are kind of nice as far as just, like, defending our stuff. Um, protocols are pretty bad here, I think, also. Let's bring, like, the treatments. Uh, protection's not great. Spellbreak's not great. Tide Binder doesn't seem great either. I think this is probably fine. Protocol also has some value. We're also on the play, too, so it's better there as well. That's got the one. Let's do one protocol and three, three mites. I think there's diminishing returns on the protocol. If you draw more than one, it's going to be pretty ugly, so I'm going to see if we can uh, have a little, little better of a draw here. We do have a lot of life gain in our deck. We have a lot of, a lot of foods. We have a lot of big sizing as well. We have food and we have life gain and sizing, which, means, which is usually very good against mono red, but of course we just like got stuck on lands. Listen, folks, sometimes you got to, uh, you know, you got to just send it back. We'll get into, oh my god. All right, so this ad has at least Spire, Siren Bus Schooner. We're going to keep this. Dump a treatment. Because the worm looking gain some life. Um, we're gonna go turn one worm, turn one worm, turn two schooner, and let it ride, and then try and uh, try and ride this victory. Not a bad draw actually. No green, but here's Kamano. Go, 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 go for the might like that. We draw another schooner. Sure, so here's a schooner. Attack for two, gain a life. Big big fan of this worm look card. Really, really big fan of this card. Gains life, grows. Really really fun synergy card. So, they want this thing to uh, not grow anymore. They gotta kill it now. They're gonna play. If they have, like, Sispear plus, like, a rule spell here, it's, like, pretty good for them. They don't, though. They have a desk. So, they get it for three, but now we're, like, we're golden. So, we're gonna Siren. And then, I think we're just gonna crew and attack. I'll play the Might on defense. So, crew it up. Attack. Explore a Conductor to the bin. Get in for a chunk and just play Haywire Mites, Jump Blocker, honestly. Gain a life, great. Now we're at 19 with a great force of attackers. Well, I guess the Kamano means I can't gain life off the Jump Block. That's fine. Maybe maybe we won't block whereas we're at 19, but we'll see what happens. It's like maybe we could have we brooded there, actually. Uh, but they get a Synth. So they're playing Synth and Desk. So kind of a low to the ground artifact to Mono Red deck. They hit a land, lucky. Nice Mountain Joyce. An Epicure, sure. Drawing a green source is pretty sweet, so I can just like Haywire Might the Kamano. Now that would gain life and this would just die. So, see if we can get there. Happy we boarded these in. Both the life gain and the disenchanted back bolt seem relevant. Bring it on. Once our worm gets to a 4 4, also, it's pretty good shape. Nothing, just no attacks. Excellent. So, we draw protocol. We can't currently cast it. Um, all right, we're gonna brute and crew with the brute, I think, and just fire an attack. So, grow the wormlet, crew the schooner, trying to get things going here and see if we can draw a land for protocol or a green for might. Oops, so crew here. We're also the beat down here too, right? They have 12 life, we have 19, so we have a pretty good attack coming here too. So here comes the Wormy Boy. Might lose the Worm in combat here, but it's also, it's also Death Touch too, which is insane, so Double Blocks are great. Schooner and the Siren all come in, leave back the Might. This will try and explore on the Brute. We see a land. That's good. Still good for us. We can use the land for the uh, Protocol or Schooner. Those are green for the Might too, so that's actually covers everything, so. They're going to dub block the Schooner. Now, the fear is if they play a spell, I won't kill this with Spear. I'm going to do this. i play it safe. So, no spell. Make sure this at least kills this. Now, I'll probably just play a new Schooner. We're going to stoke the flames in the Wormlet. That's kind of fun. So, good on us to do this. So, they get to kill that. We get to kill this. They're at 10. And now our board is not nearly as good as it was. So we're going to play a land and play a schooner and not leave a protocol. This is why I boarded out most of these. It's just pretty narrow in a mono red matchup. I think the one copy is probably okay, but still have good beats here. Get the schooner and a map. They're at 10. They're just going to hard, hard cast the synth here for three, make a token, and hit, hit a demolition. So if they have a land, they'll have an army of uh, little guys. They do. All right. So got a flyer in the air. Oh, that's just going to kill my, uh, my schooner. That's pretty good, too. Um, 
Yeah, that's pretty good. They forget this card is actually just shatter too. All right, we got some work to do here. Honestly, we're not quite there yet. We got a mirror and a map. Now we have a surge engine also. I think we just uh, just fire it up here and go on the map. See what happens. Map it and see a zoetic glyph. Keep that one on top. And then we're going to attack for three. Just play surge engine, I think. This can be unblockable. So you go. We can't glyph and surge, but they're gonna desk. Reveals two cards. Reveals a synth and a swift spear. They're gonna synth. A lot of wheel spinning. Here, honestly. Alright, so but synth. Synth top card is a Mirin Bane Splitter. Sure. I mean, again, we're pretty healthy at 16 here. Epicure, sure. Alright, so no blocks. Take a chunk. This is going to be eight. However, in theory, they're just dead, right? I should go unblockable, unblockable, kill them. I think here is haste, right? They can block, so... I think we're just going for it. Um, it's exactly seven. Yeah. And we also have the Haywire Might, too. Like, you can block and kill the Bone Splitter, too, if we things go wrong, so... Let's, uh, can't be blocked. Let's, can't be blocked. Ship it. Seven unlockable damage. You got our last card of removal spell or no? Services, no. They're gonna blood. They can't even draw Soga Flames here, so I'm not sure what they're trying to do. Take seven and die, love it. All right, cool, so. Sizing, the life gain, worked out well. We're on the draw, obviously, for game three here. Now I think his last counter spell has to come out for sure. It does obviously just rotting in our hand that game. I could see being interested in spell pierce against them, honestly. Um, a lot of cheat spells early. Yeah, three and two spell pierce. And maybe shave. Maybe a treatment. They, play, they, they, they serve similar roles. They're kind of narrow, serve similar roles, kind of like that. It's fired up for game three here. And, uh,. Being able to snipe a Kamano or like a Gleeful Sabotage or a removal spell at some point. It's pretty clutch. Also the draw too, so. Definitely want to get Sentinel and Glyph online. Sizing is very, very important against them. Man, it was a mulligan every game. It's fine. Oh, whatever, you know, it's no big deal. All right, so we're looking to six again. And this time we've got kind of a sketchy hand. We can't mulligan this, though. So we're going to keep Ship of Glyph. And uh, we're probably in trouble. You're on the draw. Our hand's pretty rough again. So they have a good draw. We're probably in trouble. All right, yeah. Need to draw land really, really bad. All right, so take one. And nothing. So we draw a Surge Engine. I kind of wanted to leave a Spell Pierce, honestly. This is like almost assuredly going to die because uh, they just have mana up and five cards in their hand. They're all spells, most likely. So I'm just like going to chill and Spell Pierce up, try and catch a, uh, a Synthesizer or something like that. Just Epic here, sure. We draw lands like like real, like, like four lands in a row here would be excellent. Didn't draw a land. All right, so that's pretty bad for us. Here's a Siren. Can't afford to map here. There's kill, there's kill response and then we get no map trigger. They might fire up our rule spell. Maybe we'll, we'll fire the Royal up. Missing land ups is tough. All again to all three games, unfortunately. I'm trying to find a way through. And you'll never be royal. Alright, so we'll fire the royal roll. Probably have a second removal spell here, honestly, but that's fine. Just make him use their cards. No, really, it hits. Alright, so we have a 2 2 hexproof ward 1. <laughs> both uh, flying. 
Here's a Kamano. Would have been a good spell for this target earlier, but not really anymore. And now the uh, they're gonna demolish for sure. So just kind of doing it all here. Um, if we can draw a land for our Sentinel. That'd be really good for us. But that's ten. Still no land. Uh, only have one card left. We need to play a blocker. Not feeling desperate enough to pop, to pop the map there. Because if we miss, we just like actually lose. I think we can play one more turn maybe without playing a land. So here comes the Leroy. Oh my god, they got it all. Alright, so Frenzy. Block this. Go five. Alright. We finally draw the land. Uh, the question is, is it too late? Uh, I hope the answer is no. Play something else they go. We have two good blockers against five attackers. They don't have anything else. They're probably fine here, but they did play a land last turn. It's probably a bad sign for us. Wow, maybe not. All right, so... Okay, so now I get to Sentinel again. Leave up Spell Pierce. All right, so... I would trade Sentinel for two of these? Probably. I think so. We'll attack. Make a map. Alright, so they're gonna go token, 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 swift spear. Pretty easy to put like this. Yeah. Take that trade all day, honestly. Alright, then we just fire up another sentinel and say go and spell pierce up. I guess spell pierce is not the best here, but we could just fire up a map, honestly, and like forget about spell pierce. That's probably a lot better, actually. I'll just do that. So, map here. Try to find a land. The brute, bin it. So, there you go. Two great blockers in play, but we're at five. Yeah, fifth land means that spell pierce is probably not gonna matter this game, but all right. I mean, somehow, some way, we're still kicking it here, so we're gonna glyph and schooner. I think I'm just in glyph. We just jam like this. They dub block and kill one of them. I still have, I still have one blocker. I have a schooner as well. Yeah, it's fun. Let's ship it. Maps for days. Great. Schooner. Now if I kill a blocker, I have another blocker, which is excellent also. What is in their hand? Like... Maybe their hand's like all... I don't even know. Here's Kamado. Maybe they have a Sabotage in their hand? Or I mean, Demolition, I mean? Yep, okay. So it's one of the few cards that makes sense, right? Just like basic, you know, hand reading 101 is like... Okay, what could they possibly have that makes sense here? It's on a land. This is good for us, though. We get to Cascade. So we get to Glyph. Discover three. Hit a Ginger Brute. Awesome. And even though we're at four, I think we're pretty far ahead here. We're turning the corner pretty hard. Spell Pierce number two might actually play here. Hmm. I think I want to start with a, uh, a map on the Sentinel. Tough cookie. I'm going to leave that. So now we can just, like, juice this Sentinel up huge, leaving up two Spell Pierces. Um, crew this. This thing will force a... Ch it doesn't force jump block, but... It's not like this. It's funny, because one Spell Pierce is not really enough, but I think two is actually pretty good. Likely to stop a spell of some kind. It's going to go to three. Love it. So, two blockers, two Spell Pierces, work four. I think we're okay here. We have Flyer also. Alright, here come the attacks. Here come the blocks. Here comes the Mirin Bane Splitter. That's... I mean, I'm going to Spell Pierce this, right? Like, they could have, they could have more, more creatures to play. So I can make them... Sure. Awesome. Well, that was a sweet comeback, honestly. You mulligan to six all three games, but still found a way to uh, just sweep it through, which is nice. Yeah, I had fun. On the play. Hand is pretty good. We can keep this. We got Siren Double Brutes, and then with the Counterspell back up. It's cool. This card's so good. This card's just excellent. 
We'll say it's not common, honestly. I feel like it's like, you know, three minutes back there, full down an epicure, so they fit the, fit the bill, you know? So pretty interesting here, we see a, a Jetmer's Garden. Could be a multiple, uh, you know, multicolor or whatever deck, um, which Protocol's very good against. We could Brute Brutier. I'm going to Brute Brute. So we, we, can, we can get Doctor and then map immediately. It's pretty nice, so... And obviously Sunfall is a long way away, so... From the beats, folks. Freaking mono blue beats. Ginger Brute. The correct art. Swamp. Nothing. Alright. So, don't want to play, uh... Don't want to play our Explore effect into a removal spell. I think we're just going to jam. I could I could do it, but they're probably going to kill something. I guess I could have go for the throat. It wasn't Black Virtue. Maybe we just, like, Conductor and then explore onto the Ginger Brew. If they have a removal spell, it's... Ah, whatever. Just freaking do it. Like, could they have something here? Sure. It, it could be a Binding also, I guess, too. It forces them to use it on the Brute. I think it's fine. So, just target here. See what happens. All right, what do you got? You want a binding here, it's fine too. Sure, even better. So they go over the throat, totally fine. Keep our explore effect, draw land, get in. I need a spell or two here. Um, we got the counter spell, which is nice as well, but we need a little more follow up than this. We draw a zoetic glyph. We got a jam, right? We can't not jam here. If they have a binding, it's terrible for us, but I don't think we can. We can like wait one turn, I guess. Just have the, have the protocol up also. But now we're getting in some ball range, too. They snap that go for the throat off pretty fast. I'm going to wait. Or is this, this is a cancel. You just pay one more. You don't, you don't need the artifact, so. They do nothing. Like, ideal scenario, they just, like, play a freaking, you know, Invasion of Zendikar or whatever. I want to be. What do you got, friend? Being able to play a beatdown deck with like main deck counter spells is pretty gas. I'm not gonna lie. This deck really is like the Lost Caverns block constructed, right? We've got yeah, four screeners, four siren, two conductors, four glyphs, four sentinels. Here's a spelunking. I mean, I think this is fine. I doubt they're going to put a cave into play. I get the glyph and have counterspell up. Yeah, this is fine. Put an extra land if they want to. Not a cave. Comes in on tap, though. I guess that's true. See if they got a binding here, too. That's pretty good. We have counterspell, though, so it's on tap. Let's play land, play glyph. They go for binding, I counter it, get it for six. They have like binding into Sunfall. That would be an issue, but. Oh no, they have Besage you. That's the one card we can't touch. That's so bad. Alright. That's really bad for us. Um Yeah. Alright. So now it's like, do I play this and just get rocked by Sunfall or do I wait? I'm just gonna wait. Oh boy. Oh no. Alright, land comes in untapped. Man, untapped triumphs seem are pretty broken. Here's Archangel of Wrath. No, I can't let that happen. Alright, so. Yeah, so they're just like a track set like playing Spelunking, sure. I mean, I think we're dead to a uh a sunfall at this point. Can't do anything about it though, so just jam. Put this here. Siren's not good enough, any better than that. Alright, let's take you out. Everyone's favorite seven mana mythic? Nope, up the beanstalk. Alright, sure. Yeah, alright. Not very fun. It's fine. Should be a good matchup for us, honestly, but our draw just like wasn't fast enough this game, so. 
Counter spells are good, yada yada yada. All right, so we have to bring in uh, tie binders are great against the uh, Traxxas, obviously, and Sun and uh, not Sun Ball, but so bring in the spell pierces, tie binders, probably treatments, maybe Ren, maybe Mites. A lot of cards we could bring in. We're gonna cut the Soul Cauldrons. Um, got a lot of cards to cut. <laughs> a lot of I guess Ren's not very good, right? I'm not very interested in Ren. Uh, protocol cookie and the conductors are pretty good still, I think. The surge engines are not great, honestly. Just like a clunky three drop, basically. Let me shave on those. We do a lot of, we do a lot of three drops, but I guess being able to break up the mana is kind of cool. To lead up spell pierce stuff like that too. Um, mites handle bindings, but that's like, you know. Fine. It's not really the most exciting thing ever. Tie binders, glyphs. Maybe she have like a sentinel or two, so just kinda of clunky with counter spells. Let's see the engines are slow. Um Yeah, we want to be like as low to the ground as possible, I think. I just got all of these actually. And then we're at twenty two lands. I mean our curve is low now, but maybe with all these gone, the conductor gets a little worse, cut one of those too. So or like a full-on like fish deck, you know, just like cheap counter spells, cheap threats, which should be good against them, you know. I'm a little surprised there's, there's no strokes in the board, you know, like just like two strokes seems pretty awesome. Kind of tracks and sunfall, but let's see what happens here. So we got pretty good beats. We can keep this. Probably siren into brute. Maybe then we get spell pierce. They're like up the beanstalk or whatever. Then we draw a lambing go conductor plus a uh, map, which is huge, obviously. The Brutes Garoni. Just making stuff up, sorry. So there you go. Planes. Beanstalk. No, nothing? Sketchy. Alright, untap. We draw Murex. So you play Conductor and go for the map here? What kind of good response with, with no, no black mana, no binding available? Migration, sure. All right, so this is, this is all pretty good for us. Unless they have, uh, if they have exactly uh, temporary lockdown, that's the worst ever for us. But I don't think we can play around it. Like, I guess we could at least spell pierce. Yeah, let's play around it. Sure, let's attack. I am not super up on my current uh, standard necklace. I don't know if the domain X are playing lockdown or not. Lockdown is like, you know, kind of lights out against us. Virtue, that's good. That's spell pierce, so sure. Get out. Um, we got a wormlet too. Nice. So we're gonna map onto the brute. It is the non-throwable creature. We draw a vine stalk. It's kind of lame. This can put in a land tapped. Cool. So you do that. Play this. Now the question is, do I want to leap up the protocol or not? Um. They could have a four mana spell next turn. Unless they have to populate. That would be terrible. But. 15. I have the Vine Stone. I'm just going to jam. The worst case scenario is that they have to populate and an untapped land. To populate not that popular, I don't think. So, they have it. It'll be bad. But... They had the lockdown that they would cast the last turn, I think. So... This is our plan, right? Just four cards in play. Virtue again. Sure. Four cards in play. Counter spell in hand. This is our, our, our gift of the world, you know? So, we're at 17. They've gained some life for sure. Our beats are okay. We have gained uh, five life so far. We untap and draw a schooner. It's pretty good. So play schooner. Grow the wormlet. Attack for four. Have counter spell up. So that's kind of nice. Cause, like we're pretty good against uh, Sunfall with the schooners and the vine stalks and the Mirixes. We can battle. Here's a binding. I think that's fine. All right, sure. He's actually really good. <laughs> The domain deck is like really, really good. There's no two ways about it for sure. 
All right, land five. There's a spelunking, that's fine. All right, untap, we draw royal treatment. Pretty good draw, actually. Um, I'm gonna do this. I have counter spell and treatment up. Remember, we can play this, we can play this for, for as a cancel, kinda nice, so. Combat. Another binding, sure. So, let's get royal here. It'll fall off, it's still worth it, obviously, so. Attack for five, explore, Glyph will stay. I get to invade a mirror, so it's really good. Um, I think it's still cool. I keep it on top. So get in for a bunch. We could also just like just put the glyph on the freaking schooner too. And just like it'll be a five five. That still triggers. They do have temporary lockdown. Wow, they got it all against us. Man. Alright, we're gonna counter it, obviously, but. Lockdowns the stones against this deck. They still have three cards left, too. Man. All right. Miss a land drop. So for their hand, Straxa, Traxa, Traxa. Kill my Siren. Uh, sure. So we just get to fire in with the Glyph here. It's funny, it won't actually uh, explore anything. This is bad against Subfall, too. Hmm. <laughs> I just crew an attack for... F Man. We do have Vine Stalk, too. So, like, if we just draw a land, we kill them next turn. I oh, mean, whatever. Let's do it. Alright. Attack for seven. Put you to three. They have to have... Not exactly some fault. I mean, we also get a Cascade, too, right? So we do the Glyph, so this is pretty good. Uh, glyph cares about this dying, not the creature itself. So the Sunfall that will not exile the Glyph, so... Here's Archangel of Wrath, which is pretty good. They go up to five. We draw a land, they're dead. Didn't draw a land. Uh, doesn't really work either, so. We just stack for five. It's funny, I could just crew just to get my explore effect. Guess I will, right? So they're gonna block, they're gonna block anyway. Make a Mirror's token crew, and yeah, it's fine. So. So, explore here. Keep the cookie on top, because that can animate the 4-4. Four, four. Jump block to 8. Alright, so you go. Angel again? Alright, well, good thing is they can't kill anything, right? So, they can go face, but whatever, it's fun. So, untap. So, we have another cookie, we can go... I guess we just make us a 4-4. Four, four. Crew this and attack. That forces them to go to 1 or to block. This can't attack, obviously. Um... So, make this a 4-4. Crew this again. Again, they will... Uh, they can just take it and go to 1 if they want to. Alright, they go to 1. They will land. So maybe just play additional cookie. And say go, because now we have that up mana for the bind stock also. They can go to four and then sunfall, which kill them. Oh boy. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> We're consuming all? What a hater. Lockdown and consumes all? So all non-land permanents mana value one or less are destroyed. So my, my two tokens. It's, even not bad. It's, it's, it's good against us in general. Not particularly good on this board. But still, like, you know, pretty good. Um, 
They have a... A way to binding my glyph or something? Domain's got pretty hard card, card quality. They can just play whatever they want, you know? Just white, white. Black, green, double white, red, yada, yada, yada. So, all right. So, there's a go. Kind of feel like they got a binding here. Um, cookies ain't doing a ton. If we tag with everything and they binding my schooner, I think it's a block one of these. That's, that's our free kill and upside. We can't bind stock here. They can't bind any vine stock either. It's pretty good. So, I think it's jam, honestly. Just, just a freaking thing. One thing we can do is leave back cookie, and if they try to binding the glyph, we can recrew. Is that even good though? Yeah, because the vine stock makes to make this into a four four. Also, I like this a lot. So let's do this. Tag this makes it into a three three, which will be a four four. Because of the counter. And now we have three lethal attackers. They have binding. Excellent. They target the glyph. And we, 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 we recrew with the, uh, the cookie. So now I have to do it response. Otherwise, it'll fall out of combat. But if I crew again, now it's a creature. Binding goes away. It's still a creature. They can block it, but they take nine. And they were good here. Barring a second binding. I won't like. I gotta count my, uh, my chickens, I suppose. But. Scooter's great. Sweet. All right, cool. So despite uh, a lot of bad things happening in that game, we're still in it. Um, now that they've shown us to hit that series as well as um, Lockdown, I'm a little more scared of being totally all in on uh, small things. It's kind of cool that Tidebinder can counter the uh, can counter both of them, which is pretty sweet. So we have a number, a number of ways to counter them, which is nice. Treatment's good. Um, Schooner's great. I kind of want to bring one of these back in, but they just don't really fit for them, honestly. Yeah, I think it's just fine. Honestly, we're trying to run back. Just low curve, cheap counter spells. Just try and try and do our thing, you know. Try and keep it reasonable. All right, on the draw. Oh, vomit hand, vomit hand. All right. Oh, man, a lot of mulligans today. All right, so mulligan. I'm gonna keep seven. Vomit again. All right, so we're gonna keep. Pretty sad about it. Dump second spell pierce. I think it's tap land first, so schooner second. Draw land. Alright, never mind. Now it's Siren. Siren Schooner, and then we'll, we'll go from there. We do have like Siren Schooner Glyph, which is like the nut draw, but like obviously we need to play around their interaction, so. They have you know, not have turn one binding, which is good. So we attack. Turn two binding. Play schooner so you go. So, glyphing here again is super uh, sketchy. So we're gonna play the wormlet and crew the schooner. I think that resolved instantly. I'm down to just go for the map here too. I think I should have should go in. It's map here. Top card's a cookie. Um, we're gonna keep that there, at least for the counter on the wormlet. One of the important things about explorers is if you're gonna explore multiple times, um. You might not want the card, but you might want to keep it for the next explorer because you want to guarantee a counter or whatever and so on. So now we're now we're doing now we're exploring again. Do I want to keep this wormlet? I mean a wormlet. Uh cookie? I think I do, actually. It's fine. How about the random cards? Which is like yeah. Next year we have glyph plus spell pierce, which is kinda of gas too. We are lacking a good artifact target. Here's Cavern and Angel, which is very scary. And Angel Brad, we can't counter, sure. Um all right, so we can like land cookie. I mean, crewing screen or attacking is not even good. That's kind of sucky. Yeah, our attacks here are actually pretty terrible. Um, we just like don't have an attack, unless you put the glyph on the on the schooner, which is not the place you want to put it really. Yeah, we'll just like wait a turn, I guess. So let's go, cookie. 
like to add the counter or gain some life and just say go, which feels awful, but. Land five. The Emperor, oh my god. Well, that's that, folks. We're dead. Uh, yeah, they can't spell pierce that. They have an untapped land, so I guess we're dead. That's all of them. Yeah, uh, this is like the hot new deck, obviously, so if folks are ready for it. You know, I'm going to just change the uh, dynamic a little bit. Where's the deck? Uh, I'm sorry. Enjoy my glyph. Yep, we're dead. Yeah, it's just stone dead. Um, obviously, this is one of our, our four other counter spells. We've encountered it, it'd been fine, but it was not. It was spell pierce, and they uh, were on the play, hit their land drops, yada, yada, yada. Alright, here's a siren. Make a map. I mean, now we're at the point where spell pierce isn't even useful anymore. Yeah, I wish dead. I don't tell ya. Fire us up and say, yo. Play tracks I concede. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, pretty tough game. Uh, with the with the, lock, without the lockdown, they were fine. But yeah, this is the deck that scares me probably the most in this format. Honestly, uh, just like play, play, uh, play the ramp deck, play Cavern Souls on Angel, so you can't count the Atraxes. It's pretty nasty. No different cards actually, but I still think we can't beat the Atraxes once in play. It's where it's a blue green deck. So yeah, we're just dead. All right, tough game. Um, definitely a, a, a beater on the uh, on the lockdown. Have a lot of answers, but didn't have one at that time, so we'll just uh, just pack it up. It stinks, but whatever. On the play, hand is fine. Uh, we're gonna keep. It's not great, you know. We really want to draw an explorey effect or some other like payoff. You know, Calder's like fine in this deck, but not like the most exciting. Uh, but. We got a mirror here? Okay. Uh, we got a wormlet too. Wormlet's nice. Alright, play a wormy. Attack for one. Obviously, you would have played the wormlet first to give the option, but. Mirror match. Schooner it up. We draw a tough cookie. I think plays here. Cookie counterattack. Unfortunately, they have the. Uh, they have their schooner. It's a 3 4. We could lead back both of these and try and trade, I guess, but like, I don't think I like that, honestly. I just gonna jam. Coming in. Let's go. Next turn we can uh, Cauldron, Conductor. Can I get it on the board? Oh, that's really bad for us. They're playing main deck Kite Sail Larcenus, and I cannot believe this card's not in our deck at all. Uh, this card is excellent. Very, very surprised um, that Ash Lizzle does not have this card in the uh, 75. It was a lot better than Protection, honestly. The card's really, really good. So, a huge plus for them to have this card in the mirror um, because it is exceptionally good. Obviously, we're still in the early stages of this deck for sure, but all right. So, we get a treasure. Uh, we have no way to kill this. It's our blue green. So, crew attack, explore. Hit a spell. Yeah, that's pretty bad for us. Yeah, all right. All right, so now they have a 3-4 Larcenist. Let's have a draw first. All right, yeah, I mean, it's not good. Uh, we're going to play the Conductor. We're going to play a Cauldron. And we're going to add a counter. And then we're going to Cauldron exiling the Siren and put a counter somewhere. Isn't the Brute, probably? Just like... Attack for five, determine the race here. We're obviously almost all in. We have no creature land either, so... That's tough. Man, yeah, this is this is brutal. This is just like this is like a this is like the best possible sideboard card in the matchup, I would assume, and they're just playing in their main deck. So and we, and we have no copies ourselves either. So things always go so fast. You know, it's funny, I, I go to record these cool stuff videos and like I feel like I go to record them and the decks are already out of date like a day later. Like when I recorded the Cascade video last week, I recorded it on like Thursday or Wednesday. And by the time it came out on Monday, it was, like, totally out of date. Because he, then people were, were iterating on it all weekend in the challenges and stuff. So, that goes fast these days, folks. It moves really, really fast. It's actually amazing how fast the metagame can move. All right. So, they're going to crew attack. They're also playing Audacity. So, playing a pretty, pretty different list here. But they've got some cool stuff going on. I'm not going to lie. And they are certainly winning the race now, too. So, we draw another land, of course. Um, 
And now we're just dead. Honestly. I don't think we have any way out here. Um, nothing to Cauldron. They have a huge advantage. Just two, just two FTKs, you know. Two flying FTKs as well. Elvish Archivist. Man, they are going deep. It's not a mirror, honestly. It's hard to call it a mirror. That's why they put so many different cards. All right, make a map. Trigger this thing. That's two, three. Crew this thing. Attack for a million. This is an attack for ten. Yeah, they were just dead. All right, stay so crew. We're gonna uh, we're going to eat a food. Take ten. I guess they are at six. So like, if we could find some way to kill this and produce two more points of damage, seems very very difficult to do. But <laughs> um, that sucks. So that was a really good draw, obviously, but we don't have a way to close. We're just a little bit short, like every single way. I can um, put the glyph on the brute. Oh no, I'm sorry. Never mind. We're good. We have a counter. I missed the I missed the counter. So we just we just glyph this thing and kill them. So somehow, some way, we steal the game with a ridiculous top deck. Uh, six five unblockable, and uh, get a sneak in and steal it. Uh, that's the power of aggression, I suppose. We were we did a pretty aggro draw the play here. But we'll take it. Some would be double Larcenus. I'm not sure how. And again, like, we don't have Larcenus in our deck, which is super tough for us, too. So, not even sure what we board here, honestly. Like, I mean, I guess maybe Royal Treatment. I mean, they stayed Audacity. They had Larcenus, Archivist. Pretty different list. Um, I'd say Cauldron's very bad against them, because I don't think it ever dies. Protocol. I guess treatment's interesting. Tidebinder. Tidebinder's kind of cool. You can counter, like, the ability of a scooter and, like, just turn it off, which is kind of fun. Um, might be worse than treatment against all of our Tidebinders. I mean, uh, whatever the dumb FTK pirate is. Protocol on the draw does seem a little rough. We've got, like, two of these. bringing two treatments and two Tidebinders. Oh, I guess it might's good, too, right? Might exiles the glyph stuff. I should probably bring these in. So maybe we actually bring out all the protocols. And let's also cut... Maybe just... Tidebinder counters... It's mostly just Schooner. I should do one of these. Try this. Yeah, a lot of good cards in this, in this set from uh from the new set, obviously. The Schooner's really, really cool. Uh, Tidebinder's kind of a cool card as well, seeing way to the formats. Glyph, Sentinel. It's almost like a block constructed deck from like the new set, if it feels like. All right, uh, this is not great, but we're gonna keep. There we got Forest, Brutski. And, uh, play Vinestalk, say go. Schooner, particularly, yeah, is really, really good. It's an excellent card. Tough cookie, sure. Obviously, being in the play is pretty cool, so I think we're just going to Conductor here. We don't actually have an Artifact yet for our Glyph, which is kind of weird. Have a 2-3. This is a good draw. Here's a Sentinel. Let me draw another land. Yeah, kind of awkward. Um, Just play the Might and say go. Nothing to Glyph. Could leave up Odawara, I guess. That seems pretty sketchy, honestly. Alright, so... Kind of good news. We have to use our Royal Treatment effectively, which is kind of nice. So we have to Fizzle V, Larcenist. Again, not have access to this card. It's really tough. So, now I have a 3-4. I can block the Sentinel, which is cool. Love to draw anything that explores. Also, them to draw land. They didn't draw lands. So they hit. They hit. They hit. So I can't block. They hit. They hit in their explorer. So four or five comes in. Maps. Um, we could just block and like kill Cookie. Which might just be worth like a. You know, this is just a, a six point life swing and remove one of the pieces of their board. Saves a mana too. Yeah, we drew. We draw a lot, of, a lot of good stuff here. So just like, take a trade. Gain four. Oh, it's not a creature. I'm so stupid. I don't know why I cannot process that this card is non-creature. I I made this mistake like about a dozen times already. Uh, all right, we'll just kill this. I guess. Got to kill something at this point. Kind of a tilt, but 
Alright, we draw a tough cookie of our own. Which we will play and then not be thrilled about. We are in big trouble. So, here's Siren. They got a new map. Got a map on the Sentinel. They hit a schooner. That's tough. I'm gonna fire up the old cookie, too. Yeah, not doing a ton here, unfortunately. They have a glyph, too. Oh my god, we're dead. Alright, so. 5, 4, 5, 6. Actually, we can block this thing. We still lose a creature, though. Yeah, this is pretty unwinnable, I think. Uh, we could double block here, but, like, we trade Brute for Conductor, and they get to Cascade into their Schooner. We're still way behind. Yeah, I kind of think we're out of outs here, honestly. I'm just going to kill the emotions. Uh, we're at 8 already. Untap and draw a Wormlet. We can Glyph this thing. This is already unblockable. Yeah, let's go to the next game. That's fine. Yeah, with a Schooner coming as well. You know, constant advantage over the maps. We can go to game three here. Now we're on the play. Um, Tybiner can also remove the ability to the 3-4. Uh, the Isn't that bad either. Eh, I still think it's kind of narrow. It's hard to leave up. The pseudo-mirror. Not exactly the mirror. Alright, so on the play. Ugh. Pretty bad hand. Uh, this is like a draft level hand, practically. I mean, obviously, brute in a cookie is like fine. I guess we got activate cookie, right? Eh, let's keep it, whatever. It's fine. All right, so go land brute. Attack for one. So we go cookie on two. Worst case scenario, animate a four, four, and three. Here's the might. Which is hide binder. Kind of cute. Uh, I guess we, we're not trading here, so just say go. Hmm. Land. Tap land's a little awkward for sure. This deck is obviously very powerful, but... Schooner. So this is actually great for us. Like, really, really good for us. So... We go land. And now we can threaten an attack. I'm going to jam both. And, like, see what happens. This is, like, pretty obvious, I think, on our, our side, but that's going to cruise. So, six. We get to blow him out. So, tie binder, counter this. And now this is no longer a anything, just a blank artifact in play, which is sick. So I have it, as long as this is still alive. Um. Play another schooner. That's pretty good. Uh, play another schooner on tap. All right, so we just pumped the brakes here a bit. We could fire up the the food die for four. That's pretty bad as far as trading goes, though. So let's play Sword Engine. Play Vine Stalk and just say go. We'll just pump the uh, the engine up end step. We're gonna sneak the tap land in for now. Miss a point here, which is fine, I think. All right, so pretty good board for us. And they're going to crew the schooner that actually does something. An attack, sure. This is pretty fine for us. No blocks. Another schooner on top. They're going to keep it there, too. Wow. And schooner's great, but, like, there are diminishing returns on vehicles for sure. 17-16. Siren. Here come the sirens. Mapping. Mapping. Will they keep this and dump it, maybe? No, I still keep it. Wow. And a ginger brute. Again, they cannot crew us. It is not anything. Let's see a 3 2 unblockable. We draw a wormlet. This can be a 5 4 creature, if we'd like it to be. Obviously, our uh, their brute can block our brute, so. Also, just jam with the uh, food as well. Just kind of slaps. We 
Am I willing to trade tie binder one with the siren to give them back the other schooner? Like three schooners is like just too many schooners to deal with. I think I am actually willing to trade there. So we also have our vine stalk ready to go soon. So like that's a pretty big uh, chunk of damage. So I think this is a pushing damage kind of turn. Um, with that being the case, I think we're gonna cookie up and just worm like cookie up jam. So let's go. Oops. This here. Let's see if they kill a response. Which is fine if they do, honestly. Alright, cool. So he's 10 3 mana to kill her thing. Awesome. And they get some life, sure. And now uh, I get to. Unblockable Brute. Attack with everything. I would trade this for this. I would trade Brute for Brute. This thing can't can animate still. And I can play Wormlet. Yeah, man. Play Wormlet. And then. So the engine next turn also. Let's jam. Again, three schooners and no crew is a pretty rough place to be, so. They're gonna dub block the tide. But they wrote this thing dead. Uh yeah, that seems I mean Frankly that seems like a horrible block. I don't know. I don't have another nice way to say it. Um getting the brute in there also seems completely unnecessary, but we'll take it. Maybe they're scared of royal roll, I guess, but like I don't know. I'm not sure what their what their comeback mechanic here is. They have three schooners and nothing, basically. They have a might, sure. So now we have this unblockable engine, unblockable brute. Look, you can make our artifacts bigger. All right, so they're going to uh, schooner audacity. We're going to take five. The audacity will die at the end step, but they can't play this also. So they have no blockers here. Yeah, again, there's diminishing returns on vehicles. You know, it's not like vehicles are great, but like there's, you know, a limit to how good they can be. We have this thing that's here, right? Just fire this thing up. Uh, five, it's five. They're super dead, right? They're just dead to, dead to the moon. Attack with everything. Make this a 3-3. Uh, three, three. This is so much damage. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, pretty weird game. Uh, opponent was very schooner happy. And uh, I feel like they had the edge in, in deck building. But um, they're going to play the game a little bit tighter, honestly. So we'll take it. All right. So pretty awesome. Uh, deck just plays really, really cool. Love the style of a deck. One thing I will say is that as we saw in that pseudo mirror, uh, Kite Sail Larcenist is a, a, a big missing piece here. Uh, the card's just excellent and um i can bring it up for you right now and uh, it feels like a real missing piece to this deck where it's just like this really really awesome interactive point in your blue green deck is that much removal uh seems much better than witness protection this card's got to be in the deck list at least in the sideboard uh oversight there uh but that's really cool honestly it's you know still kind of a new deck still kind of an exciting uh new thing to work on which is really, really fun and uh deck's great so if you love standard if you don't love standard you miss standard being really really good standard's great right now check it out Give it like a spin. And again, big shout out to Ash Lizzle, who's like this is. Check out her content. Uh, streams as YouTube. And she's great. Check her out. And thanks for watching. Appreciate it. So I'm Jim Davis for CoolStuffInc.com. Promo code GM5. 5% off your order. CoolStuffInc.com. And I'll see you fine folks next week. Have a good one, folks.